Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, today I'm going to talk about CRISPR therapeutics and how it's taking on the big guys and assorted uh, companies uh, in the focus on ANGPTL3 based uh, heart disease uh, therapies. And we also have Verve in the mix. So it's very interesting to see uh, that uh, there are already uh, therapies which have been approved for ANGPTL3 related uh, interventions. And uh, we also have an idea of the market size. So it's going to be very interesting for anybody that has inter uh, invested in uh, CRISPR therapeutics and Verve therapeutics. These are two companies in our watch list that are working on ANGPTL3 based uh, gene therapies. With that said, let's get started. Welcome back. Uh, gene therapy has evolved from uh, targeting low-hanging fruits like sickle cell disease and uh, uh, TDT to tackling more complex and prevalent conditions such as cardiovascular diseases. The focus is now on the angioprotein-like 3 or ANGPTL3 gene, which plays a pivotal role in lipid metabolism and is a promising target for reducing the risk of heart disease. The leader in this space is Regenron. And Regeneron is a clear leader in this space because it has a therapy called Evkeza or E-V-K-E-E-Z-A, -E -E which was first approved in 2021 for adults with uh, homozygous familiar hypercholesteremia or HOFH. -H. Recently, it received approval for use in children aged 5 to 12, further expanding its market despite a high list price of $450,000. Evkiza generated $48 million in sales in 2022, demonstrating significant market potential and setting a benchmark for other companies. And now, here are the rising competitors. The first one I have here is Verve Therapeutics, Verve 201. Verve is advancing Verve 201, an in vivo-based uh, editing medicine uh, uh, designed to inactivate the ANGPTL3 gene in liver cells using its proprietary GI GAINAC LNP delivery technology and Verve aims to uh, reduce the production of ANGPTL3 protein thereby lowering LDLC and triglyceride levels. Verve 201 is particularly focused on treating patients with HOFH and those with refractory hypercholesteremia. Currently in preclinical pre stage, Verve plans to initiate phase 1b clinical trials later this year uh, in 2024. Then we have CRISPR Therapeutics with CTX310. CRISPR Therapeutics is another strong contender with CTX310, which is a CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing therapy targeting ANGPTL3. Early data from non-human primate studies or NHPs showed a reduction in ANGPTL3 protein levels by 85% and triglycerides by 60% with effects lasting over a year. CTX310 entered phase 1 clinical trials in November 2023, positioning CRISPR therapeutics as a significant player in this field. Then we have Ionis uh, Pharmaceuticals and AstraZeneca's Wupanorsen, uh, which was developed by Ionis Pharmaceuticals in partnership with AstraZeneca as an antisense uh, oligonucleotide uh, therapy to reduce lipid levels to reducing ANGPTL3 production in the liver. Although it showed promise in phase 2 trials, AstraZeneca halted its development in 2022 due to concerns about safety and therapeutic efficiency. And it was highlighting uh, the challenges in this space for most companies that will probably bring therapies in future. Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals is another company with ARO ANG3 and um, this therapy is a RNA interference therapy or RNAi therapy targeting ANGPTL3. In its gateway study, ARO ANG3 demonstrated significant reductions in LDLC and ANG3 uh, ANGPTL3 levels, paving the way for a phase 3 clinical study. The therapy is designed to work alongside standard care and providing additional lipid lowering effects crucial for uh, patients with uh, severe uh, HOHF. Uh, and then we have SomaLogic, which has a SomaMer based uh, platform, which is uh, SomaLogic's uh, uh, unique uh, novel approach to targeting ANGPTL3. These protein binding agents can selectively modulate ANGPTL3 activity and potentially offer a, a unique therapeutic angle for cure. However, this approach is still in early stage development, making it a more speculative uh, player in the area. We need to see more uh, data coming up to show that it's actually effective. So the competitive landscape is... Uh, 
uh, intensifying. The gene therapy market targeting ANG uh, PTL3 is becoming increasingly crowded, and success in this space will require significant financial resources, rapid advancements through clinical stages, and a focus on safety and efficacy. As more competitors enter, Pricing pressures may reduce the margins, emphasizing the importance of speed and innovation. It's crucial to monitor not just the progress in one therapy, but also the competitive landscape, as multiple players are vying to lead into this uh, lucrative but challenging field. So, uh, in, a, in summary, what I would say is gone are the days when we used to see uh, a sickle cell therapy or TDT therapy in the pipeline uh, in advanced stages, and we used to take a lot of happiness because those were all minor edits and giving a huge uh, result, and there were very few competitors in the field, and the standard of care was rudimentary for sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia, and it provided a huge edge uh, to these companies. But now, as the competition intensifies, as we go for more complex uh, uh, areas, we'll find that there is a lot of competition for gene therapy companies from uh, small molecules and uh, uh, generic medicine because they're going to target those indications where the standard of care is at an elevated level and therefore it's going to be difficult to have high pricing unless it is a once and done cure and if it's going to be a cure which needs a repeated administration then definitely there is going to be a lot of pricing challenge and gene therapies by their very nature are very expensive and therefore it's going to be difficult for those companies so i think we have to watch all the companies in our uh, genomics watch list very carefully look at the candidates in their pipelines and scan the environment for competitors. And that's what I plan to do for other therapies as well. We started off with ANGPTL3, but we'll look at other combinations as well. Uh, please let me have your feedback. I always look forward to your feedback. Put it in the comment section. Catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.